Dear viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Arif Kadem. Many students at e school, college or university, employees at work or users in general often struggle to use some basic functions on keyboard promptly and efficiently. As a result, it takes longer to complete a task. If we know some shortcut functions, this can certainly save us a lot of time in completing our task quicker. Today we are going to learn some shortcut functions. If we pay attention to my clip, I am sure this is uh, going to help you both in professional and personal life. Dear learners, one of the first functions we are going to learn on the keyboard today is to retrieve or get back the top bar of the screen. When browsing on the internet, sometimes you may accidentally lose the top bar of your computer screen. This is quite annoying and frustrating for many people, especially students or beginners to computers. On this internet page here, we can see the top bar is missing. So basically, uh, the bar that had all the different tabs uh, for uh, different sites are no longer uh, visible. If you face this kind of trouble, simply press F11 on your keyboard to get the bar back. So I have already pressed it. Now we can see I was um, on a few seconds ago that uh, the menu bar uh, under which all the different tabs are missing. So here again, if you please look at this keyboard, we can see F11, which is generally located uh, above backspace. You just uh, simply hit F11, okay? And we can see that uh, you know our top bar is back. Thank you. Dear learners, uh, those who are new to Windows 10 or similar version often struggle to find different functions or programs on the PC like Microsoft Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Calculator, Control Panel, etc. If you are one of those frustrated users of computers, you will know now how easy it is to actually find your preferred program. So let's say you are um, on the desktop so obviously we all know that this is the desktop okay so now we need to find probably for example Microsoft Word okay so now we can't see it here probably now what we have to do we can click at the bottom left hand corner where it says is Windows button this is the one so we just click here then as you click simply type uh, Word and then you will see it will pop up here so as I type word it came up and you just hit enter and then this will actually give you a brand new page now going back to the topic so we go back to that windows again and then let's say this time I want to get a Microsoft PowerPoint just type POWC it comes up so you will hit enter now you need for example Microsoft Excel simply type exe it will come so you don't have to type even whole excel and then you can either click here or you can hit enter so that's how you know whatever you like you know as long as your computer has all this information you should be able to you know reach them you can do the same thing by using your keyboard so dear viewers uh, or learners uh, the windows function on the keyboard is basically located on two different places one is here in between control and alt so as you press here you can see that it pops up here or also you can uh, see it here you know on the right hand side of the keyboard next to the space so next to alt okay so you can press here you see the same thing whatever you would like to get you can get so you want to get control panel just type C O N T, so it comes up and that's how actually you get all the things uh, so I hope you do some practice on this uh, so you can remember and you can obviously help others uh, to, you know, use this function efficiently. Thank you. Dear learners, uh, very often you may have a lot of uh, applications, programs, uh, software or functions, you know, being open on your, uh, you know, computer as you're very busy working. So you may have multiple, um, you know, files of Excel, you know, so maybe Word, you know, PowerPoint, you know, Internet uh, browser and all these things. So you have a lot of things, you know, calculator, the control panel all open. Now you want to actually minimize all of them. 
Now, many users, what they do is they do not know, they actually manually minimize each of them. Okay, so which takes longer because you know, instead of uh, individually closing each of them, like calculator, this uh, control panel, internet, uh, you know, browser. So sometimes we may have, you know, 20, 30, 40, or even 100 files, you know, uh, open on the computer. So, um, you know, we should know how to actually minimize all of them in one go. Now, how do you make sure that, you know, you can actually minimize all of them together? Okay, so you can individually do it, but you can do all in one go. So the shortcut on the keyboard function in this case is, uh, you know, Windows function that I was showing you before, which is located between Control and Alt. So you press Windows function and M on the keyboard, the letter M, and you will see that um, all have disappeared. So again, the Windows function, okay, so you press it. While you press it, you need to press M. Uh, to be able to minimize all the programs. From time to time, for different reasons, you may wish to increase or decrease internet page. Or in another word, you want to maximize and minimize image of your screen. Simply press and hold Control and press equal sign next to backspace on your uh, keyboard to increase the size and keep repeating it until you reach your preferred size. So let's do it. We are on this page. I'm pressing Control and uh, equal sign once. It increases as I keep uh, pressing while holding Control. Okay, it will uh, actually be maximizing. Now, if we want to actually uh, go back the other way around, or in another word, uh, you want to decrease it. So you simply hold Control and press minus or hyphen sign next to equal sign on your keyboard and keep repeating until you reach your report size so control and keep pressing minus sign okay so you can actually make things really small obviously we don't want that way so we can actually uh, go back to uh, you know equal sign while holding control uh, button on the keyboard okay I think that's what we most of the times want. Dear learners, the functions I was just uh, showing you on the computer screen, I just want to make it a lot easier for you to understand uh, in case you still didn't get that. So this is the keyboard and what basically we're going to do here, we use this, okay? So if you're a right hand, obviously this is the thumb that you will be pressing on control and this is the equal sign so if you look keep looking please that as i press once it gets bigger on, on the computer screen as you keep pressing it will be bigger and bigger okay on the other hand if you is to uh, make those images smaller you just get to shift your index finger on this hyphen or minus sign i was saying uh, i should also tell you that it's actually located in between equal sign and um, zero um, on the keyboard so you press so it will be smaller as you go okay so you can see on the screen okay it will be very small okay so anytime you want to make things bigger okay you can actually uh, you know make them uh, larger images dear viewers what i have just shown you uh, on the keyboard and um, uh, on the screen uh, basically sometimes you know when kids use the computer you know accidentally they change their resolution or the image on the screen so i have seen many people struggle to get back to you know uh, to the right size or the right image so that's why it's a very good idea to know it properly so please do some practice um, you know on your pc today if you can <music>